Hello everybody, my name is Elaya Hadavi, Senior Application Scientist for Bioprinting here at Cell Inc. Nowadays, bioprinting is a rapidly developing technology for the precise design and fabrication of various complex tissues and organs. Coaxial extrusion bioprinting has demonstrated a strong potential to enhance bioprinting versatility. Coaxial bioprinting simultaneously deposit two or multiple bioinks into another in a single filament in a concentric structure. Today, we are going through the coaxial bioprinting process step by step using our advanced BioX6 bioprinter. The requirement for coaxial bioprintings are two pneumatic print heads, bio inks for inner and outer layers, and of course, coaxial nozzles which are available in different gauge size and lengths. It's including a nozzle specific for the inner layer, which uh, located into the other nozzle designed for the outer layer. And the gauge size for each is written on the nozzle. If you are working with cells, it's recommended to use the nozzles with shorter lengths, which is half an inch to provide less pressure on the cells. So, let's go through the preparation step. First, we should assemble the pneumatic printhead on the device. It's important to know that just first and the second printhead slots are designed specific for coaxial extrusion in BioX6 and not the others. Then the cartilage of the inner layer bioing should be assembled in the first and the cartilage of the outer layer bioing should be assembled in the second spot. Then locate the pressure tube connector here. The coaxial nozzle should be assembled on the first print head and the linker tube should be connected to the second print head and the outer nozzle. Please make sure that linker tube is not folded, otherwise clogging can make a problem during printing. Okay, let's go through the bioprinting setting. Open the DNA Studio. From here, the software gets connected to the device. You can select the specific plate that you are going to print. So, I'm selecting the Petri dish. Specify the layer height based on your selected nozzle, infill pattern, and density. The print head type. Select the coaxial from this list. Then select the size for inner nozzle and outer nozzle based on the gauge size that is written on the surface of the nozzle. Here you can adjust the pressure for inner and outer nozzle. Then adjust the print speed. I recommend you to start from the low print speed, usually one or two millimeter per second, works well for different bioings. Meanwhile, you can further adjust during the bioprinting process as well. You can also adjust the temperature here. And if you would like to have inner or outer flow delay, select here. We have an option here for external pressure pump. The BioX6 already covered the pressure up to 200 kPa for each print head. And if you need to use higher pressure for extrusion, you can assemble an external pressure pump up to 700 kPa. If you are using photocross linkable bioinks, I have a good news for you. The BioX6 is equipped with four inbuilt photocuring models and print tools to allow you to photocross linking by different wavelengths, including 365, 405. 450, 485, and 520 nanometer. Here, you can see the summary of the printing setting. 
press go to print. From the right panel, you can test the extrusion before starting to print and make sure that the inner and outer extruded bio inks are visible and concentric when you are printing. You can use this panel to adjust the printing setting further, even during the bioprinting process, to improve the resolution. Press this tab to calibrate the print bed and print heads. Press the auto bed leveling, adjust the probe here, and ready. Then, for the coaxial nozzle, you should go through manual calibration. You can find the instruction for calibration of different type of plates and petri dish here. Select the spot in the center of petri dish and make sure that the nozzle is touching the surface. Okay, this is perfect. Save the calibration and done. The setting is ready to print. And now, start print. As you can see clearly, the inner layer in blue and the outer layer is in red. After printing, you can save your protocol, go through cross-linking process based on your bio inks, or restart printing. So, done for today. Wishing you all the best for your future bioprinting projects. Don't hesitate to contact us if you have further questions. We are always here to support you scientifically and technically. Thank you.